Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I am going to create free looks with the Patnagraph Labs Mothership Free Subversive eyeshadow palette. I already created a look with it, so if you haven't watched the video, I will link it at the end of this video for today. So I'm gonna create three looks. I'm not gonna do swatches because I already did it for my previous video. We're gonna focus on creating three looks with this palette because when you look at it, it looks beautiful. Of course, the shadows are cool, you know, but you could also wonder, okay, how am I going to pair these together and create looks? Some may look obvious and some others not so obvious. Like it was, uh, this is how I felt too. So we're gonna see that. And uh, yes, we're gonna jump right in. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can also follow me on Instagram. I post lots of looks and I create polls like asking you what you wanna see next. Uh, don't forget to ring the little bell right here next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you so much for watching and without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna jump right away to the first look. I'm just gonna show you how the palette looks like once again, very quickly, very beautiful colors. But now like I don't find it like the most beginner friendly when you look at those shades, you know, it's, it's not easy to, to figure out what kind of look you're gonna create. I already prepped my lid. I did a bit of contour today, something different. <laughs> I set my lid too with the powder, uh, the Laura Mercier powder, just because I wanted to see how it will perform, especially because it's not like a light transition shade. So I'm gonna zoom in a tiny bit. I kind of want to play with this shade and create like a nice smoky eye. This is very beautiful too though. It's kind of a duochrome. I don't remember if I used it last time. And this shade looks like a lot of fun too. I'm gonna pick up my Wayne Goss number 16. I'm gonna go to deep shade and very lightly tap the brush on the pan and I'm gonna start to place that shade in the outer corner very lightly because I know it's dark and pigmented. And I'm slowly going to buff that into the crease. Not being overly precise with it, as you can see, like this is a big brush. Yeah, I can see why a lot of you are requesting looks with this palette because it's not super easy to come up with looks right off the bat. Look at that shade, it blends super easily, no problem. I'm really going with a light hand, like I'm really light on the uh, pressure with that brush. A bit more. See how easy it is to blend. Now with a Pat McGrath Labs brush that I got in a little set, I'm gonna dig in the black shade, extreme black, very lightly dabbing into a pan, and I'm going to start to intensify the outer corner with it. And whatever is left on the brush, drag it to the crease. You want to start light-handed with the black, with the, any dark shade. And it's better to build up, you know, than trying to uh, mute the shade, like it's easier to build up. Super easy to blend. You just have to go very light-handed on the pen. Look at that, it's so pretty. Even this, like for an everyday look. Easy and quick. Okay, I'm gonna use a Sonia G Builder Pro brush and go back to the black and I'm going to intensify again. But pack it on this time. Finish and increase. Is the light too bright? Uh, yeah. 
this brush is nice and dense, so it's nice to build up the, the intensity of the shade. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my Technograph Labs brush. Not adding anything, I'm just buffing the black into the crease. And blend the edges. Taking a Sonia Kashuk brush, uh, I'm gonna go back to a shade, deep shade, that matte brown. Very lightly, I'm gonna place it in the inner third. Finishing the crease. Okay, and from there you can play with any like topper in that palette, to be honest. Um, but I wanna try this uh, black metal shade. First, I'm gonna use the Sonia G Builder Free brush. Okay, and let's go for the shade Black Metal. Let's see how it applies first with a brush, but I'll probably finish with a finger. <laughs> Dry brush first. It's pretty, No, I'm pretty sure we'll have more impact with the finger. But I like the precision you can have when you apply it with a brush. So maybe I'll wet the brush. That's a very pretty shade though. Okay, let's see with a wet brush. For that. Let's see with the finger on the other side. So finger wet brush. I think with a wet brush you have a tiny bit more control. I like that shade like against the the brown. So I might intensify the crease with the brown. So far I find it really pretty. Okay, okay, so let's go back to the shade, deep shade, that matte brown. We have a Sonia G Crease Pro brush. Just going to intensify. Really like those two shades together. If I the outer corner with it, actually. Onto the lower lash line, I'm gonna go with that brown shade too. We have a Sonia G Pencil Pro brush. I really like that brown. Taking a clean Worker Pro brush, Sonia G, I'm just going to blend that. Build a Pro brush and the black, we intensify again. The outer corner here. And a little bit the lower lash line, just in the outer corner as well. Okay, for the inner corner highlights, I'm gonna go to Skin Show Feeder. And this is a Sonia Kashuk Small Eyeshadow Brush. Very pretty inner corner highlight. And a tiny bit, tiny bit on the brow bone. Okay, blend it with what is left on the brush here from the brown shade. Okay, I like that. Uh, I'm gonna finish the look, tight line, mascara, something on the lips, and I'll be right back. Alright, and that is the final look for this uh, first look, and I really like it. It's a nice classic smoky eye look with, uh, you know, a little bit of um, something something with that black metal shade. I really liked the black metal shade, the black shade, and the deep brown shade. Mixed together, I think they look beautiful. They complement each other really, really well. And the brown, if you go light-handed first, same for the black, like it's super easy to work with and you don't necessarily need to put like a crease uh, 
uh, shade, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom you in. I've got a little tiny situation with my mascara. I was kind of getting clumpy, like I think it's getting tired. And on top of that, I poked my eye like really badly with the wand. So I had to touch up a tiny bit of the bottom lash line because I was tearing up a little bit. So anyway, we fixed it. I really like how the black here is operating as like a nice transition between the brown and the, the black metal shade. Um, the inner corner highlight is very nice. It's kind of my skin tone, but highlighted, like it's not too light. It's a very pretty shade. And uh, yeah, I like it. It's a nice, classic, smoky eye look. Very easy to achieve, as long as you uh, don't go too ham with your brush on the pan, like with the black or with the brown, you know, to start with, you can really easily like achieve that look. Yeah, what else? In my waterline, so I'm gonna zoom in a tiny bit more, and maybe I'll put some more light so you can appreciate. Like here, it's more like true to color, but here you can maybe see the shine a tiny bit more. So in my world line, I really fell in love with those uh, eye pencils, like the NARS uh, High Pigment Longwear Eyeliners. I have it in the black and I used it to tight line on top. And then I mixed a bit of the black and the Nolan Drive shade. It's kind of a nice like metallic brown with a tiny bit of plum in it. So it, it was perfect with that look. You, of course you can just put black but I think this is just a, a little bit softer and on top of that with my greenish eye it makes it pop a tiny bit more, you know? So yeah, really really like that look. On my lips I'm wearing the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Phone lipstick. I love that color, I think it's so pretty. It's a nice nude, but a nude that, you know, brings life to your face. Like it's not like a, something that is too light. And uh, I have an entire video for her lipsticks. I have four shades that I swatched, so if you haven't watched it already, I will link it right here. So that is it for the first look. Let's jump onto the second look. All right, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two different looks um, because I don't have much time. It's been crazy lately. And while, as you can see, I did not upload a ton of videos. Christmas shopping, it's work is busy, everything. So I'm so sorry. Well, obviously I wanna try that beautiful shade here. This is more like a nighttime palette and I'm barely wearing makeup, guys. Oh, I've been uh, in a rut lately. And you've been so kind because I, I made a little post on my Instagram and you were like, don't worry about it. But you know, you still feel bad when you're not filming and you're not uh, consistent. Okay, so I'm gonna set. I'm going to start with Gigabyte actually. I'm going to apply with my finger. That's a very pretty color. I'm actually going to take a tiny bit of my bronzer right here. That's a bare minerals, but any bronzer you have, just because there's no transition shade here. And I'm just uh, slowly like putting it in the crease and the outer edge. And now I'm gonna pick up a bit of the black, extreme black. And I'm gonna place it in the outer corner. This is a Pat McGrath Labs brush. And in the crease. Very nice. So I'm going to intensify. This is a Sonia G Builder Pro. Very pretty. You could do kind of the same colors on the lower lash line, but let's have some fun and uh, play with Blitz Amethyst. Now, it will be really pretty actually paired with Black Metal too. Hmm. You know what, actually, first uh, I'm going to apply Black Metal on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to use uh, Blitz Amethyst. This is a Kiko Milano number 60 pencil brush. 
once again if you haven't watched my first look with this palette i will link it right here or at the end of this video okay so how does it look well it's a bit weird mm -hmm. it looks more blue so let's add black metal on top oh you know what that's why <laughs> I didn't want to use Bliss Amethyst, I wanted to use my creature. Damn it. Okay, well, let's add a bit of black metal. Let's try that. And the brush is dry. And then I'm picking up my creature, this one. Oh, interesting. Let's put uh, Skin Show Fever in the inner corner. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a bit different. Why not? Obviously, if you wanted something less adventurous, you would just pick these shades right here and put them at the bottom. I'm just going to blend a bit more of a lower lash line using my bronzer again. Okay, and now a tad bit more of Gigabyte right in the center. Just for a little bit more peps. Love that shade, I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna finish the eye look, put a bit more concealer here, and I'll be right back. All right, and that is the finished look. I really like it, I think it's really pretty. I love that color, that the golden chartreuse color. So pretty, and I think the black shade complements it perfectly. Uh, I could have put something a bit more Aiming in the inner corner. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of my highlighter, which is the one I have under my hand. This is the Pixie by Petra highlighter. Right there. I like it paired with uh, that purpley shade here. So I know I mixed both Blitz Amethyst and Night Creature together, plus my bronzer, tiny bit to smudge, and also the black metal shade. So yeah, something fun. It's different, but I think it's still something easy to wear. Very nice color, once again, very nighttime. Like, it's something you want to wear, like, if you go for an event or a nightclub. I like it. Okay. For this one, I think... What did I do for my first look with it? Let's take a look quickly. Okay, this is what I created for the first look for this palette. So once again, if you haven't seen the video, I will link the tutorial at the end of this one. This is my Instagram, by the way. So if you want to see more looks, you know, follow me. So I think I'm going to start with the shade, that deep shade, that brown one. Taking a fluffy brush from Farah and then placing it in the outer corner. And then the grease. And I'm not being overly precise with it. Intensify. And then all over the lid, actually. More intense. Sony G Worker Pro. It's a very pretty brown. I really like that shade. By itself, it's beautiful. Look at that. Nice chocolate brown. Nice. I'm actually going to pack it on on the lower lash line too. Super pretty, like, for any time of the day in winter, like, that could be very pretty, just a smoky brown. I'm going to blend the crease a bit more with a Blender Pro, Sony G. Well, on top of this, you can use plenty of colors. You could use Blitz Amethyst again. Uh, it will be kind of close to what I did for my first look with this palette. You could play with the VR pink, which I think I'm going to do. Play with this brown too, Lazarus. So for today, I'm just gonna put VR pink in the center of my lid. Look at that. 
so pretty. Oh, so nice. It's funny how it's really translating purple, actually. When I look it on the pen, it's mostly, yeah, it's either browns or pink. So I guess when I'm turning, it's like switching too. A little bit more. Pretty. Yeah, see on my finger, it's either this color or this color. So if I'm looking over there, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. In the inner corner, I'm gonna go with the shade Astral Ghost Orchid, which I remember in the car looked way more pink than it did on camera. It was super pretty actually. So I'm gonna apply it dry first. This is a Luxie 111 Mint Flat Angled Brush. And I'm actually going to apply some in the inner third of the lid. Okay, and maybe I should keep it simple. I'm going to apply a tiny bit of VR Pink in the center of my lower lash line. And let's see from there. I'm gonna finish the eye look and see if I wanna add anything. All right, and that is the finished look. So I applied a tiny bit more of that matte, matte brown shade called Deep Shade in the outer corner. And then I added a tiny bit of the shade Skin Show Fever in the inner corner and dabbed on top VR Pink again. And I just prefer that i think it looks really pretty too i think this looks more like you know impressive like special uh, but this is very soft too if you see it from far from far it looks really pretty too super soft actually it's a nice look for winter now this one i just have a feeling it opens the eyes a tiny bit more but it's pretty too really pretty i think i prefer this one slightly just because I'm in love with that color it's something so particular so special but this for every day I think it's very nice it's easy yeah which one do you prefer this one or number three number two or number three obviously number three is easier to wear but I like both, okay. And I like the first one too, very much. All right, my friends, I think that is all for today's video. Let me know down below which look you prefer, which one you're going to recreate. You're so sweet, you always post me photos, like uh, you DM me with uh, photos of your look, so I love that. I don't know, I really love the first look for this video. I love the first look I did with this palette in the other video. And these two looks are really nice too, um, but I think, yeah, this one has my preference like slightly. But that is all for the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Free Subversive Palette. I'm really excited for the Star Wars collection to come out. I might play a bit more with my Decadence eyeshadow palette. I'm not gonna get the other one because it's exactly the same palette, it's just the, the box is different and I'm not that big of a fan like a star wars fan to buy like twice the same palette but if you want me to create more looks now that it's out again i'm happy to play with it more yeah i have a video well i have two videos for it already uh and uh it's so funny in the second video i'm wearing my invisalign <laughs> the whole the entire video and i'm having lipstick on my invisalign and I, I keep going you know it was probably the first two days I was starting my treatment and um, yeah, that is special. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, join the family. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram. I hope you have a great one uh, and that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.